trying to look at some of the words we take for granted or have used uh, both in the liturgy and in, even in the Bible and so forth in a way that helps to, um, there's a word that's used in, in sociology and social work, which was my background, prob problematize it. So in other words, to look at what are the issues of that word. And I try to do that in the congregation, um, but also in my, my work uh, outside the congregation because I'm an anti-racist trainer, anti-racism trainer, and intercultural competence. And so I try to help people look at that. Uh, both the, the same thing I was, I was saying around darkness is, is to look at how that is used negatively and how it's racialized, as it were, to separate people. And that's one example. But, you know, even my own, I, I, I do this humbly because I recognize my own blind spots. So I was talking about, for instance, at a, at a, a workshop I was giving about this and talked about, you know, how... Um, uh, you know, uh, black and dark is usually put in pejorative ways, except when it comes to um, uh, the ledger, you know, in the black is great and in the red is not so good. And immediately I was caught up short by a member of the, the audience that I was speaking to who is Aboriginal or First Nations or, or Native and said, wait a minute, wait a minute. That's an example of how you have not seen how we are impacted because uh, Native people are often referred to as red, like red skin and so forth. And then the concept, the language of the ledger, black is good and red is bad. So they said here, so I, I had my own horizons expanded uh, in terms of understanding how we can use language unconsciously in referential ways that impact people adversely. So I think this is why we need the community. We need the community. There's no experts who are devoid of um, blind spots. We need the community to help each other. And so what I do is try to raise it so I give people permission to own but also to speak up. Uh, in a way that will make the community more faithful and sensitive with respect to language that circumscribes life rather than releasing it and celebrating it before God.